Thank you to Matthew Ogus for, this was his video. So all the footage you see on that stage, that's Matt's video. He was kind enough to let me use it uh, for this specific purpose. Uh, so what do we have here? This is the Muscle Mayhem. Uh, probably one of like the top three pro qualifiers in the United States. Like if you get your pro card here, you are legit. It's in Northern California, which is the backyard, three muscle journeys backyard on this specific year. It's a tough year too. We were honored to basically uh, have three incredible athletes on our line in our lineup, and they happened to make it to the overall. And who you have here is, of course, uh, no introduction, Matthew Ogus, who literally, man, like still a youngin. He might not say so, but still a youngin. This man has cemented his legacy when it comes to his contributions to natural bodybuilding. A lot of you guys might be here because of Matt Ogus. No intro needed. You've seen all these, right? Um, we have Kevin Riley, who just freak of nature. I'm sure at some point I'll do another show with, with Kevin uh, up in that lineup. But man, one of those dark horses just came out of nowhere a few years prior to this show and literally had the natural bodybuilding world like shook up, but he wanted his WMBF pro card and that's why uh, he was here on the stage. And then last but not least, the heavyweight, Caleb Benez, who, man, when you look at this kid, just, he, he, he uh, you could just tell, he was like a skinny kid at some point, but with like a big old neck. You ever see a skinny kid with a big old neck that dude is just going to blow up. And that's exactly what happened with, with Caleb here. Sensational bodybuilder in his own right. Like one of those dudes who can literally have strided glutes in the off season, ain't a thing. And just carries, it's just a large freaking human being. A lot to handle up there on that stage. So anyhow, guys, enjoy this. Uh, hope you guys take something from this. And it's going to be a lot of fun to roll through this footage and break it down with you guys. All right. Back in the day when you saw this pop up, you know it was going to be good. And this is going to be quite the show. Should be Caleb Inez first, Kevin Riley in the middle, and then Matt uh, is going to be the guy on the left side. Uh, I'm sure most of you guys are quite familiar uh, with Matt. But man, this is for all the marbles. You know, at this point, uh, all, all three of these guys have had quite the successful day. They won their weight class at the Muscle Mayhem. Um, and geez, I mean, this is this is a show where, like, Moji Olua, go look up that name. Like, he's attempted to get a pro card here, and he's come up short before. At some point, he did get it, but uh, it just kind of goes to show you, like, if you want to. Know if you're legit, legit ready for the pros, this is it. All right, too much talking, let's go back. Uh, all right, Matt goofing around a little bit. All these guys knew each other. They probably uh, stayed in loose contact <laughs> uh, prior to the show. And uh, I have a good, they all probably knew there was a good chance of them being up here. All right, well, so we'll start with the most important pose in natural bodybuilding, I firmly believe that after just the symmetry round, which is just basically no none of the fun poses, eight out of ten times you can call the winner with just that. So this pose, highly important. Let me see what I see here. Um, so right now, I think um, first things first, um, uh, Ken's quads are just like speaking loud and clear. So you can really tell already from the front that he's in really good shape. I'd say in regards to pure symmetry, like the most classic X-frame here, it's probably gonna go to the taller guy. Uh, that, that's, that's Caleb on the right. I think he probably has the best X-frame. Taller guys usually have uh, wider shoulders. And in his case, the wider shoulders come with a narrow waist, not always the case. And then here's the most impressive part about Caleb on the right is the fact that he is uh, got some legs on him. And you know how it goes for the tall boys, for the tall boys sometimes getting those quads to really do that. 
uh, it's hard. So, so Kevin's conditioning here is really, really poking through. Uh, Caleb has, I think, the best symmetry. But even though it is the symmetry round, again, everything is still being judged. It's called the symmetry round. Uh, but still, your muscularity, your conditioning, that's still something that's registering into the judges' minds. And I'd say in terms of overall head-to-toe muscularity, even though he is the lightest guy up there, it's Matt. So right now you have a game of like, Matt is the most muscular on the left. Kevin is just shredded out his mind. <laughs> and, uh, and Caleb on, on the right has the best X frame. All right, let's let these boys keep going. All right, get some side action. Man, all right. And, and here, like here's where, um, while Matt is the most muscular, Kevin kind of brings the best of all worlds. And you can kind of see that at this point where he's, I mean, Matt's the thickest, but Kevin's pretty thick and Caleb, being a taller guy, he's a little bit more stretched out. He's probably the thickest if you take a tape measure to him, like by quite a bit. But again, it's spread out in a taller individual. So from an illusion standpoint here, um, again, still pretty, pretty, pretty freaking close. Everyone has something, uh, but uh, man, like you, you can't take your eyes off. Kevin, that's something that conditioning just does for you, uh, but you can't overlook uh, the fact that like Matt is just a ball of muscle. Um, and, and for Caleb, he's really going to have to wait for the front and back shots to really show the fact that he has probably the best X-frame up there. All right. So you see what conditioning does, though? The way I look at conditioning, it's kind of like um, your physique, your muscularity, your conditioning is kind of like the thesis statement, but conditioning makes it so that like, it's like, okay, like this paper that you wrote, this metaphorical paper that you wrote, um, there is no typos, right? So it's like every line, like, did you see, like, you can see where the muscle like the, it originates from where it inserts, like everything is just zigzagging all over the place and it's noisy in a beautiful way. So uh, as much as like Matt, the lightweight on the left has something to offer, uh, Caleb, super impressive, total package. You keep going back to Kevin in the middle. All right, here we go. This is, so the rear um, relaxed pose you're going to see how much of what you saw in the front kind of holds true. Uh, and you can really just see how, and Matt's back up until this point, especially this season was kind of highlighted by the internet as, as being uh, like a, a weak point. But I mean, a lot of that just has to do with the fact that he's so damn muscular head to toe. It's like, okay, we have to find something that's gonna be that. But uh, he's holding up quite well here. So again, he is the most muscular guy. Kevin in the middle, most conditioned, but look at like Caleb on the right, like he's just X framing the shit out of this pose. So those front to back poses, I think for Caleb on the right, that's going to be huge here. Those are the ones he's going to have to milk. And, uh, and, and, and again, <laughs> Kevin in the middle though, it's like the conditioning factor is something that as much as you uh, lend your eyes to the guys who are surrounding him, you can't help but go back and conditioning makes it seem like the other people did something wrong, almost. Um, so anyhow, as of right now, I'd say uh, I still have Kevin because he is <clears throat> the, like on a you know pound per pound basis, he is probably just as muscular as, as Caleb, not as muscular as Matt overall, uh, but his conditioning, like his, you know, it's like a step ahead of the other two guys. And then in regards to symmetry, uh, he probably is second place there. So when you so far just count all this up, it's like, okay, well, uh, Kevin has the least things wrong with you. And when you are in a show that is this competitive, it's not anymore about like what you have, but what you don't have. 
That is literally what the judges are looking at, and that's what they're, they're not giving you props. They are penalizing you while you're up there. They all look great, though, man. They're all pro-caliber physiques. Unfortunately, this is not a super pro qualifier. There's only one pro card given here. All right, you know how it goes. Hey, everyone out here who's a bodybuilder knows whether you're competitive or an amateur, your left to right looks a little bit different. So this pose kind of seals the deal. Like did, what, what we saw on that first quarter turn, uh, and we saw you from the side uh, facing the other way, does it hold true on this side? And yeah, more of the same basically. Kevin has all the lines. Uh, Caleb kind of disappears here. Matt, you can get really get an idea of how like dense and thick he is. So even though he's the lightest guy there, he's definitely uh, the guy leading in the pack in regards to muscularity. Just a thick ass individual, Matt is. All right, see the judges will spin them again or have they seen enough? Again, the symmetry round, if you are a little bit behind, um, it's really hard to come back from. That is the first impression. And especially this pose right here, this is the first impression. At the end, these judges are human beings. So whatever stands out to you first, well, that is that is what's going to kind of sort of stick with you. So, uh, you know, if you are a competitive bodybuilder, it is in your best interest to nail this pose. Uh, not only will you be hitting this pose, like when you first pop up on stage, uh, so it's the first impression, but in between certain breaks, this is the pose you're going to be holding. So remember, first impression for the judge, this pose hides nothing really, except whatever's going on on the backside. And, uh, and it's gonna be a gentle reminder, like, you know, over the course of the time that you are up there on that stage, like what you got or what you don't got. Like the, the judge, again, this was their first impression. So they're gonna see this over and over and be reminded of what their first assumption was. Okay, so they got him straight into the muscularity round. Boom, all right. Whew. Ooh, all right, so you can really get an idea of just how freaking huge Caleb is. I believe he was right around 200 pounds. Kevin somewhere in, I think, the low 170s, and Matt somewhere in the low 160s. Again, I think head-to-toe muscularity, uh, you have to give it to, to Matt, but all those zigzag lines that Kevin has, and of course, those freaking arms, um, you just can't take your eyes off of him. Nevertheless, Caleb, like, you go back to him and you're like, man, you're just like this wide ass X. So uh, important pose. I think this pose is probably more important uh, in the IFBB. Like this is, along with the back lat spread, probably, uh, this is probably, I'd say the second most important pose. In some cases, the first most, the, the most important. Outside of the front relax, I think across the board, that first impression pose matters that much. Uh, but yeah, this again kind of, uh, blends in your symmetry along with uh, just the level of muscularity you have, especially across the arms and the quads. Um, all right, so again, still, I think Matt is the most muscular, the most symmetrical guy is Caleb on the right. He's got the best X frame, uh, probably the best flow. And again, symmetry is not left to right. Sym that symmetry is more so like, how does it flow? How beautiful is this physique? And a lot of that ties into, again, that X frame, all right? Okay, front lat spread coming up. This one kind of just, you have a good front double bicep. Uh, in front relax, this one kind of has the best of both worlds. Okay, so Look at that X frame on Caleb. Like he is, his lats are poking up the most from the front. Um, like Matt's chest doesn't disappear on the front lat spread for most of us mere mortals. It, it kind of does, uh, which just kind of tells you just how big and dense of a person he is. And again, these judges are human. If there is a judge there who kind of favors muscularity. We all kind of tend to lean a certain way. I am a big symmetry buff myself. Uh, that that stuff matters. All right, so. Now they're gonna get into their side poses. All right, let's see what these guys do. Side, side chest mat, there we go. All right, you can get a good idea of just how, you know, the short individuals on a inch per inch basis just tend to be thicker. And this is where Caleb is playing catch up. So as much as like he, he kind of makes a statement for himself on those front poses, 
he gets into those side poses and you can definitely see that like the dude is around like six feet tall. All right, side tricep coming up. I think this one matters more than the side chest. It's a very pretty pose. Okay, pause this here. Um, yeah, you can just really, uh, again, get a good idea of how big they are up top, how small that waist is, and like how the legs bubble out, both in regards to the quad butt, so like the swoop up here, and then the notorious hamstring hang. Um, and right here, you can really see how Caleb's super muscular left to right, but thickness is something he lacks. Matt is just thick out his mind. Uh, however, Kevin in the middle so far tends to be the best of both worlds. And this is something that we keep seeing with every single pose. All right. We're gonna have these boys face the rear. We're gonna see the muscularity poses. And this pose that's coming up, I'd say is probably the second most important pose in natural bodybuilding. It's gonna be the back double bicep. Um, usually because the, the physiques, for the lack of a better term, and I mean this in a kind way, they're not as bloaty. Um, you tend to see more separation throughout most of the muscle groups, especially when you compare it to modern day, high, high level MPC bodybuilding or the IFBB. Uh, so this is, this is a pose where you will see, you know, how muscular someone is, how uh, well uh, sketched the separation is between muscle groups, especially the back, because there's so many things going on, especially when it comes to back musculature. Um, and of course, it really highlights the fact that, okay, narrow waist, big lats, shoulders that pop at you, and then finally, like, how conditioned are you? Everything in the posterior chain will be like flex and tight. So this is, outside of the front relax, probably the most important pose in natural bodybuilding. All right, boys, let's see. Let's see. Let's see, I know what's gonna happen. I've seen this before. I was there, actually. All right, so they're set. How crazy is this that we get to like stop and look, like the judges have to do this in real time. Like it's easy to uh, sit there in the stands and you know, just talk about what's what's uh, what's going on and what should have been done. Um, I've been at the judges table before and it's, it's, it's totally different when you have these people's like placings, like the results of their hard work in your hands, in your score sheets. Um, so yeah, it's, 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 it's crazy how quickly these people decipher what it is that they're doing. A lot of experience, especially in the muscle mayhem scoring table. Um, all right. Are they set? I think they're set. Um, yeah, they're set. All right. So man, again, Caleb, the whitest, Matt, the most muscular, uh, even though Kevin um, has the smallest lats here in the group, like it, it's almost like his shoulders and arms are so big and so dominant that you're like, okay, I'll just visually, you're just like, okay, I'll just, I'll make this uh, like, I guess what highlights the taper on the upper half. Um, and, you know, again, like talking about separation, not, it's not just the, the back muscle groups, but also what's going on through the delts, through the arms, uh, like in just how like etched he is and through his, through his backside, through his hamstrings, through his glutes. Uh, so personally, I think this was kind of the, the knockout blow here for Kevin. I think this is where, uh, it was made pretty unanimous that he is, uh, the most complete again, in regards to the criteria across the board, right? When it comes to conditioning, when it comes to muscularity, when it comes to symmetry, uh, he has the least things wrong with him, even though, you know, both Matt and Caleb have, uh, have, have skills. Okay. Back lat spreads tell you this much, you know, like when it comes to natural bodybuilding, they're just not as exciting as, uh, what you see, especially on that Olympia stage where it's like the lat spreads just keep going and going and going. You think they're done. And then there's, there's more of that. So back double biceps, I think in natural bodybuilding, just more pleasant to look at. Uh, but, uh, we don't have the same pow that, uh, that you'll see with, uh, the guys at, at the IFPB. Um, still, and you can really see that, you know, even though Kevin has the smallest lats here, um, all the zigzags everywhere, just, just keep pulling you back to him. All right. So they're going to hit these side poses, um, on the other side, 
generally speaking, like everyone has a strong side, everyone has a weak side. Uh, a lot of it has to do with like how mobile you are uh, when it comes to, uh, I guess, yeah, when comparing one side to the next. I think at this point, the judges have uh, seen enough. They're, they're not working them nearly as hard as you will see sometimes. Um, I just think Kevin really made a statement with uh, that, that conditioning. And again, like he is just a step behind Matt in regards to like overall muscularity. Again, Matt's just, look how thick he is. Um, and his symmetry, while it's not as x framey as Caleb's, it is, it, it's still world class. All of these guys, world class when it comes to, to everything. It's a shame really that only one uh, pro card is given. Uh, Abin Thigh, which again, um, one of the less important poses. M most musculars, as, as much fun as they are to hit, they don't count nearly as much as people think. By the time you get to this pose, it's like it's not going to save your butt if you've kind of lost ground with the previous poses. So this is the hands on hip, and then you get to hit a crab, most muscular, which a crab can be a hands clasp, or it can be like what we all think of when we think of um, um, a crab most muscular. Um, as long as your hands are not on your hips, it, it counts as a crab most muscular. So, um, so yeah, I mean, shoot. Um, this is more of a fan favorite, and you can really see all the good traits that these athletes carry from the front, uh, like really pop through. But nevertheless, by the time you get to this pose, like if you haven't made your final statements, it's hard to come back. And I know because I'm a victim, I have a very good most muscular pose, but every time I have placed not so well, it's because by the time I get to this pose, I'm just too far behind. Okay, crab. Let's see what these guys decide to go with. Yeah, most experienced guys tend not to go with like the, it looks good in selfies, but not so good on stage. Um, yeah, because just this dance class just looks more symmetrical, big up top. You can still see the waist when you lean over and you do a crab, not so much. All right, and I think that is it. They're gonna have them pose down and then uh, they're going to announce the winner. Again, all, they're all tremendous competitors. And uh, you know how it goes. It's like, it's not until you are next to these guys. And I've had the privilege of like seeing these guys like in person, as impressive as the physiques are up here, like being two feet away from them and seeing them in person. They're all tremendous bodybuilders. Kevin, uh, as of today, uh, when this uh, when, when this recording review uh, was made is the only one who is a, a pro bodybuilder, but it's only a matter of time for the other two guys. Uh, let's see, let's see what they go with. Uh, the Ooh. All right. All right, hey, those are all three, all, all three of those guys were athletes. So we were all insanely proud of the fact that we had our athletes at the Muscle Mayhem overall. Um, and again, what it came down to, especially when it's like the competition is like this, like harsh, this uh, well put together, it's really about what you don't have. And that is basically how the judges took care of business here. It's like you were missing something, um, you were going to get penalized for it. So Kevin Riley... Um, took home the pro card on this specific day again all three tremendous bodybuilders um and uh and yeah yeah they didn't work these guys nearly as hard i think they should have given them one more round one more spin through at least uh at least the the muscularity round especially for um the fans in the audience because the, the crowd was was enjoying it uh, quite a bit as, as i uh as I rem if i remember correctly so anyhow hopefully that gives you guys a good idea as to what goes on how bodybuilding is judged and uh yeah just how impressive like these these physiques are i don't know about you guys but uh they definitely make me uh want to go in and train today um so yeah if you guys like this let me know if you guys have suggestions in regards to other shows that you guys would like for me to cover in a similar manner let me know and uh yeah this was a lot of fun so i can't wait to do the next 
and I hope you guys got a lot from this.